Hi, my name is Josh Stanley. I'm the product sales specialist for the state of Florida. I focus specifically on our next generation portfolio for Cisco, and that includes all audio conferencing, web conferencing, and video conferencing delivered entirely in the cloud, as well as our next generation call control platform called Cisco Spark. Um, I want to walk you through today video conferencing, uh, and particularly a video endpoint that we recently rolled out this past March called the Room Kit. The Room Kit comes in two different versions, both the Room Kit which is what I'm in front of, as well as the Room Kit Plus. Uh, you can uh, purchase these video endpoints and actually register them to the cloud, Cisco Spark, or you can register them on-premise to Cisco's communications manager. I wanna walk you through what, um, uh, what that video endpoint looks like. Let's take a look at, uh, one of the first things that you'll notice is that as soon as I walked into the room, I actually paired my, my uh, in this case, my Mac, but it could have just as easily been my, um, my uh, uh, PC uh, or a mobile device, I paired that to the room kit. There's a wireless transmission that connects those two devices. I can be on uh, two different networks at the time and still transmit content up on the screen. So that's all I did wirelessly. Uh, uh, again, my, PC, my Mac was already paired with the room kit and I was able to seamlessly press one button and push my content from the Mac up on the screen. So uh, I wanna share with you first, uh, this is what the unit looks like. There is a single camera right in the middle that is a 4K lens. Uh, and that comes in particularly important here in a moment when we start to show you uh, the speaker tracking. In addition to that, there are speakers uh, on each side of the camera, which allow us to uh, eliminate uh, the requirement to have audio on the TV display. And that's particularly important because sometimes that sound quality on those TV displays is not all that great. Uh, the sound quality on this device is fantastic. In addition to the camera and the speakers, there also is a microphone array built into the system. Uh, I can extend the value of this unit into a larger room by adding in an additional uh, microphone, or I can just simply work off of smaller rooms. I would say you know, up to maybe eight people in a particular room where I can go maybe upwards of 15 or 20 feet deep. So I'll show you a little bit here in a moment, but I wanted to show you a couple other quick things. Again, I do have a few mounting options. Uh, as you can see here, this can mount to a back of a TV screen. It also can mount to a wall uh, and sit right above. Actually, technically, it's designed to sit on top of that TV display to provide the proper angle uh, of, of users sitting at the table. Um, you can also see it's a fairly straightforward unit. Um, it's all in one, so there's no separate codec. The codec, camera, speakers, and the microphone are all built into that one unit that resides right there on top of the TV display. And this is a great example of what that might look like. It can support two, two displays, so I can have content on one display and I can have um, video on the other display as well. So let me stop sharing and I will uh, walk you through the process of um, actually leveraging the speaker track capability. So right now, by default, I have that turned off. I wanted to show you a fixed lens. Obviously, I do have that ability to be able to zoom in or zoom out in order to be able to fix a camera view. But I also have the ability to be able to turn on what's called speaker tracking. When I turn on speaker tracking, you're going to see a couple things that are happening. First of all, I'll take my hands off the controller, and that'll give us the ability now, again, to use intelligence in the system to be able to track two things. It's looking for sound in the room, and then it's also looking for two eyes, a nose, and a mouth to ensure that it's a person. It's not some noise coming, random noise coming from the room. So what happened there, when I turned on speaker track, it I digested that information that was coming in from the room, used that to determine where within that large display of the entire room that that active speaker was located. In my case, I was right in the middle. And essentially what it does is just crop out of that 4K image, uh, it crops out uh, the essentially the most important part of the room. I don't want to send the far back corner of the room if I'm sitting right here in front of you. Um, this can work really, really well in, again, medium rooms, uh, small to medium sized rooms. As I move back, I'm roughly about 20 feet away. You see it reassess the room and it adjusted the frame of which we were sending video. So what's great about that, even though I'm, again, about 20 to 22 feet, depending on uh, the floor tile size, uh, I'm about 20 to 22 feet, and you can see uh, we're gonna have a much more like being there uh, video experience as opposed to me being tiny in the back of the room. I'm gonna walk around and uh, show you from a different angle. As I come in here and continue to talk, you'll see the camera once again adjust 
And the goal here is to minimize the amount of just. So there are slight delays which are configurable. Uh, and this allows us to be able to have an experience that's much more like being there. Again, I might hear a sound in the middle of a meeting and, and it doesn't force me to change my view uh, until sound continues to come and then I will refix my eyesight and then have an experience that's much more like being there. So again, this is the room kit. There is a room kit and room kit plus. Uh, they are both bring your own display. And essentially what you're doing is uh, extending the value of that either a projector or TV display and turning it into a really fantastic video conferencing solution. I hope you agree. Have a great day.